Hi, we are Engineering Brothers. In our previous class, I have completed this problem or I have solved this problem. And what is the problem statement? The current through our resistor R4, which is IR4. So now I am going to take different path to solve the same problem over here. So I am going to take the nodal way to solve this problem. So let us do that. Okay. In our previous classes, I have solved the same problem by using Thevenin's theorem. Okay. And what are the essential steps that are need to be followed? I have totally explained that in my previous videos. So, so if you have missed those videos, please do follow those videos to clear your concept. Okay. So I am going to take the nodal method to solve this problem. Okay. So first draw the circuit. So this is our 10 volt, 10 volt voltage source and the R1 is 2 ohm as per our list. So this one is our 2 ohm and what is the R2? The R2 is 5 ohm and that 5 ohm resistor is connected with our 12 volt battery. So this is our 12 volt and this has been grounded. Okay. In the next part, I can see that this one is our R4. This is R4. It's connected over here and this one is connected. Okay. I should write it in a clearer way. That will be better. This is 12 volt. And the value of R4 is what? The value of R4 is our 10 ohm. So the resistor value is 10 ohm. Okay. And for the rest of the circuit, this is our R3. What is the value of R3? The value of R3 is 1 ohm. And in the right hand side, the voltage source V3 and that value of V3 is 20 volt is connected over here. So this is our overall circuit. Okay. I want to recheck this circuit once again. This is 10 volt. In the right hand side, the 2 ohm resistor is connected along with that. The R25 ohm is connected and that is connected with a 12 volt battery source. And in the right hand side or for the right hand side, I have got 10 ohm resistor is connected. And uh, the R3 is a 1. And in the absolute right hand side, we have got our voltage source, which is 20 volt. So this one is 20. The R3 value is 1 ohm. The R4 value is 10 ohm and R2 value is 5 ohm and this one is 2 ohm okay and our problem statement is the current through this resistor okay and I have cleared this as this is our problem statement IR4 okay so let us consider that at this point and this point the voltage is V why do I take the same voltage over here as you can see that there is no element is present in between these two points. So I can consider that both this point the voltage is same which is B. So let us consider that the voltage is B at this point. Okay. At this point the voltage is V. So if I do apply the KCL for that. So let us first identify the current direction here this is our current direction this is our current direction this is our current direction and let us name that current direction as well here for across 2 ohm I can write it as I 2 ohm the current direction over here and here the current is I 5 ohm okay similarly for this one the current is I 10 ohm. Okay. 
and we are aiming to find out this i 10 ohm as r4 means our 10 ohm okay and through this path through this path the current is i 1 ohm okay so what is the kcl equation if i do apply the kcl all the currents are going away from our points these two points so all the currents are going away from that okay so if i do apply the kcl at those points so now i can draw this circuit in this way as there is no element is present in this circuit so i can draw this circuit in this way this is our v this one is our 5 ohm okay this one is our 12 volt battery this is our 2 ohm resistor this one is our 10 volt okay and i can use the this path as well as i want to repeat this portion once again as there is no element is present in between this two points so i can club those two points into only one single point okay so this one is our 10 ohm resistor this one is one ohm resistor along with this this one is our 20 volt over here okay and i have shown you the current direction so without wasting any time let us identify the current direction this one is i 1 ohm this one is i 10 ohm that one is our problem statement over here and in the left hand side i can identify that or i am going to show you that this one is i 5 ohm and in the left hand side this one is i 2 ohm over here okay so first digest the circuits over here and after that i will solve these equations or let us find out by using our kcl equations over here so i am going to give you two minutes to note down this circuit over here and after that i will solve this circuit problems over here hope you have understood my total analogy over here if you still have any doubts please let us know in the comment section below okay so this circuit can be modified just like this one and why do i consider that because there is no point is present in between these two points that is why i can do combine this point into single point and after that i can draw this circuit into this one so these two circuits are equivalent or same i want to repeat this portion once again you can see that there is no element is present in between these two points so these two point i can combine these two point if you do combine these two points we have got this is our final diagram over here and after that i will solve this problem by using our kcl expressions over over here okay so the i want to give you two minutes to note down up to this one okay so the time starts now
I want to repeat this portion once again. So this is our first given circuit and I have reconstructed this circuit uh, over here. And so I can remove this circuit as this circuit is no longer been required by us as I have redrawn the same circuit in the downward diagram. Okay, so this is our circuit that I, I have modified. Okay, so what is the take? If I do consider that this point is O, so let us do apply the KCL. So KCL at point O, what is that? All the current is going outwards. Okay, are going away from point O. Okay, so these currents are added. So I2 ohm plus I5 ohm plus I10 ohm plus I1 ohm, which is equal to zero. So I can consider two different ways to solve this problem. Here the circuit has grounded so here the voltage is quite naturally the voltage is zero okay so what is the current for our i2 ohm always do remember that the voltage is always going from greater voltage towards lower voltage okay i can say that the current is going in this way so the v voltage is always greater so what is the i2 ohm i2 ohm means V minus 10 divided by 2. This point voltage minus this voltage divided by our resistance. Okay. The next current is I5 ohm in this way. Plus V plus 12 divided by 5. Why do I consider this as plus? as the polarity is opposite compared with our 10 volt so here the polarity is this one is minus this one is plus you can see that this one is plus this one is minus okay that is why minus plus means plus and here the voltage is v so v plus 12 divided by 5 for i5 ohm for i10 ohm you can identify that V divided by 10 as the current is going towards our ground here at ground the voltage is 0 so V minus 0 by 10 means greater voltage which is V lesser voltage voltage 0 and divided by resistance which is 10 ohm and the next one is plus V minus plus minus minus 20 greater voltage which is V lesser voltage which is 20 divided by resistance which is 1 which is equal to 0 ok so this is one type of analogy to analyze this portion always do remember that which one is applicable for you that you should choose but I have two different methods to show you how this equation has formed over here okay I want to repeat this portion once again if I do apply the KCL at point O I have got this is our equation okay and you can identify or you can see that all the current is going away from point O so all these currents are additive and if I do apply the KCL at point O this is our ultimate equation which is I2 ohm plus I5 ohm plus I10 ohm plus I1 ohm which is equal to 0. Now the next step is we should formulate these individual currents for individual path. Okay. So which one is I2 ohm this one. Okay. Here I have considered that all the current is going away from point O. So clearly or quite naturally the voltage is greater compared with this 10 volt so v 
this one is plus this one is minus for our polarity of our battery this one is plus this one is minus and for that this one is plus this one is minus and because of that plus minus means minus so greater voltage v minus 10 divided by resistance which is 2 ohm this is our i2 ohm the next one is i5 ohm for this one you can see the see that the polarity is opposite this one is plus this one is minus here the opposite polarity is there so quite naturally here the voltage is additive in nature okay so v plus 12 which is uh, through this path divided by 5 and here the current value is i5 ohm the next one is this one as you can see that the voltage at the ground is 0 so v minus 0 divided by 10 greater voltage minus lesser voltage divided by resistance that is our current path so v minus 0 by 10 means v by 10 and the last one is voltage v minus 20 which is our desired voltage over here divided by 1 and that is our final equation over here okay so let us do consider or do solve this expression over here and mind you i am going to take another path to show you the same equation over here but before i go into that i should find out the voltage first just to solve this equation so what is the lcm the lcm should be i should erase these portions to have some more space okay so what is the lcm i should uh, write the next step over here okay after this is our first step this is our next step 2 5 10 1 2 5 10 1 what is the lcm 5 2 1 2 1 2 1 1 1 and ultimately 1 okay so 5 multiplied with 2 means 10 10 this one is 5v minus 50 plus this one is 2 should be multiplied so 2v plus 24 okay this one is only v is present plus v and this one is plus 10v minus 200 which is equal to 0 okay so 0 multiplied to 10 means this one is eliminated so ultimately i have got this one so this is our final equation over here which is 5v minus 50 plus 2v plus 24 plus v plus 10v minus 200 which is 0. So what are the v's? So this is our v, this is our second v, this one is our third v, this one is our fourth v. So 11, 13 plus 5, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18v. Okay? eighteen V which is is equal to two hundred plus fifty minus twenty four okay so I no longer do require this equation as well I just need to find out the voltage first means eighteen V which is this one is 250 minus 24 means 226 okay and what is the ultimate voltage over here which is 226 divided by 18 okay and um, to formulate this one I should use the calculator 226 divided by 18 the value should be 12.556 okay so I should note down the voltage at point O the voltage is 12.556 
por ok and quite naturally what is the current through this 10 ohm let us find out ok what is the current expression for that we know that the current through our 10 ohm which is i r 4 which is one second i 10 ohm that one will be same so what is the expression of our i 10 ohm the i 10 ohm is voltage divided by 10 okay 12.556 divided by 10 okay so what is the final current 12.556 divided by 10 I have got the answer which is 1.2556 amps so this is our current and I have used the nodal way to find out this current over here I want to give you two minutes to note down after this one and after that I will give you a surprise over here. So stay tuned to the channel and do follow my videos. If you do follow my previous videos that will be more helpful. If you want to follow our videos in a more proper way. So do follow our previous videos as well. Okay. So the time is up. I want to give you two minutes. So the time starts now. So in my previous part of the video, I have shown you that I have got the same current which is 1.2556 amps and the voltage at point O is 12.556 volt. And if you have followed my previous videos on Thevenin's theorem, I have got the same result which is been given over here. But as per my promise, I want to take different route to 
from our KCL equation over here. So let us do that. So I have already solved these equations. And what is the value of IR4? IR4 is quite naturally the voltage is, uh, is the current value is 1.2556 amps. Okay, so I no longer do require these values over here. So I want to take a different route, a different path to find out the or to form the KCL equation over here. So without wasting any time, I should do that. So this is our ultimate current, which is 1.2556 amps. And I have noted down over here. 1.2556 amps. So this is our final current. This one is R and this one is 4. So let us do that. So our ultimate point is I have divided these currents into separate way or I should consider these currents in a more separate way. So first one is our I2 ohm. So first draw that portion of that path. So I only do consider this I2 ohm path. So here the point is O and at this point the voltage is V okay and in the left hand side this is our 2 ohm resistor is connected with this and this is our 10 volt is connected over here so this is our 10 volt this one is plus minus and through this path the current is I2 ohm so what is the ultimate way to find out this current if you do apply the KVL through this loop, you will get the current, which is minus plus means plus B. The current is flown in this way. And according to that, the polarity of this resistance is this one is plus, this one is minus as the current is flown in this way. Okay. So minus plus means plus B plus minus minus 2 multiplied with I to ohm. The voltage across our resistor means I multiplied with R and here the R value is 2 ohm. Okay, and the value of our current is I2 ohm. And the next one is plus minus minus 10, which is, is equal to 0. So this is our final KVL equation over here. You can identify that we have got three voltage parameters present in this closed loop, which is this is B, this is voltage across our resistor and this is our our ultimate given voltage source which is 10 volt okay now let us do simplify this equation what is that minus 2 i2 which is is equal to 10 minus v if i do transfer this minus in the right hand side what is that 2 i2 means B minus 10 okay and ultimately our final current equation this one is I2 ohm okay so the I2 ohm means B minus 10 divided by 2 you can take this path to find out that current also so I should note down this current over here I have got the I2 ohm current which is what? V minus 10 divided by 2. Okay. So let us move on towards our next part of our current path. If you have any concept uncleared over here, you can let us know in the comment section also. We will be there for you and try to rectify your problems over there okay so this is our i2 ohm and i have enlisted that v minus 10 by 2 okay so this one is clear the next one is our i5 ohm so next one is i5 ohm so let us draw that circuit also in a separate way okay this is point o 
across this the voltage V and this is our 5 ohm resistor is present and along with this one this is our voltage 12 volt present over here ok and what is the polarity of this voltage source this one is plus this one is minus and the current has flown in this way ok and the current value is I5 ohm just do follow the same procedure minus plus means plus V ok so what is the polarity of this resistor as the current is flown in this way this is our plus this is our minus ok so plus minus minus 5 which is our resistance value multiplied with our current which is I5 ohm ok and minus plus minus plus means plus 12 volt which is equal to 0 so let us do rearrange this equation to get the current of I5 ohm which is 5 I5 ohm which is equal to V plus 12 ok I have transferred this 5 multiplied with 5 ohm in the right hand side and you will get this is our equation and ultimately if I do simplify this expression I have got I5 ohm means V plus 12 divided by 5 ok so this is our next current component over here and I should note down this current as well so I5 ohm means V plus 12 divided by 5 ok similarly for our next current sequence what is that let us find out so you can take uh, this route also to find out the individual current over here and you can take that path also greater voltage minus lesser voltage divided by resistance that is our ultimate current over here whatever may be your path you should clear your concept ok and no one is doing this type of videos over here so all I need we need your support please do subscribe our channel and please do spread these informative and conceptual videos towards longer communities because that will help us to connect with our larger audiences and we will be working towards that because if you are not connected with our larger audiences so this one or these classes are undervalued by that because we have shown you how to do these problems in a more simplest or in a more conceptual way and no one is doing this type of videos over here and I have given you simple tricks to solve these problems there is no hide and seek games over here I am going to show you each and every steps over here ok that is why I need some support so please do subscribe our channel ok so this is our i5 ohm quite naturally the next one is i10 ohm so this is our i10 ohm so without wasting any time let us draw that also this is our point O here the voltage V is present and this is our only 10 ohm resistor is present ok and here at ground level the voltage is 0 so here the voltage is 0 the current has flown in this way ok and if I do consider that the current is I10 ohm now once again if I do apply the KVL in this loop what is that the polarity across our resistor is this one is plus this one is minus as the current has flown in this way so what is the KVL equation let us do that the polarity is minus plus plus V minus 10 multiplied with I10 ohm as the resistor value is 10 ohm and the current is I10 ohm minus 0 as the current is always going towards our grounded level which is equal to 0 ok as the ground has 0 potential ok so if I do clear this equation I have got minus 10 
multiplied with i 10 ohm which is minus v and minus minus will cancel and I have got I 10 ohm which is V by 10 okay I want to give you two minutes to note down after this one and after that I will ultimately give you the I 1 ohm and if you do put these individual currents in our KCL equation you can identify or you can see that in our previous equation has the same equation so ultimately we have got or that will let us towards our final equation or final expression of our current which is 1.2556 ohms amps which is our final current okay so the time is up i want to give you two minutes so the time starts now I should enlist the current here as well so I have got the I 10 ohm which is B divided by 10 okay and how do I understand or how do I get these currents individually I have shown you over here that is why these classes are very very special if you want to clear your concepts okay and I am not hiding any facts over here I have analyzed all the paths and why do I get these currents over here okay that is why Indian brother classes are always very very special if you want to clear your concepts please do share these videos please do like our videos and stay tuned with our channel if you want to clear your concepts okay so the last current is our I1 home so let us draw that so I 1 ohm this one I 1 ohm so let us draw the circuit first this is our V this is our 1 ohm resistor and which is connected with our 
voltage the voltage is 20 volt okay and this is our current direction which is i1 ohm the polarity is this one is plus minus just do apply the kvl over here what is that let us write the equation minus plus plus b the polarity across this resistor is this one is plus this one is minus as the current has flown in this way minus 1 multiplied with i1 ohm and ultimately minus 20 which is equal to 0 so this is our kvl equation over here and if i do rearrange this expression to get the i current or i1 ohm current i have got the equation should be what b minus 20 divided by 1 okay so this is our final current over here you can see that so just write our final current expression as well which is i1 ohm and the current value is b minus 20 divided by 1 and ultimately if i do apply the kcl at point o all the current is going outwards so the equation should be i2 ohm plus i5 ohm plus i10 ohm plus i1 ohm which is equal to zero now if you do put those values of individual current in our kcl equation what is that i2 ohm means b minus 10 divided by 2 plus v plus 12 divided by 5 plus v by 10 plus b minus 20 divided by 1 which is 0 the same equation but with two different parts okay that is why Indian brother classes are always very very special if you want to clear your concept okay so after that I have solved or I have come out with the voltage V and after that V divided by 10 which is our ultimate destination point or which is our final current which is I10 ohm and after that I have got the same value of our load current which is 1.2556 and just remind you one second that I have come out with the same answer from our previous Thevenin's theorem analogy from that analogy also I have got the same current which is 1.2556 amps over here so over here I have taken the same problem but with two different methods to get the same answers over here okay so after that your concepts will be crystal clear I think like that okay so if you have followed my videos from the beginning towards the end or from video 1 to video 100 that will be better for you to understand our logic or understand our concepts in a more logical or in a more sequential way so don't skip our videos please do follow our videos from the beginning from minute zero towards minute maximum that will be better for you to understand our all states or all logic in a more logical or in a more sequential way okay and of course please do subscribe our channel we are making these special videos for the sake of our students for the sake of myself because i know these methods in a more simplest way and i always do believe that sharing is believing that is why i am going to share you all my steps to solve this type of equations over here and this type of problems are not very difficult if your concepts are clearer you are going to form this equation by your own way and engineering brother is always here not to break your confidence but to increase your confidence and bring your confidence level back and you will solve these type of problems by your own hands that is why i have added the new section which is in between our steps i want or i have given or i have added extra two minutes to show you all the steps 
I am doing, I am not doing this one. After doing this, I have erased all the steps. That will not only, uh, not only create much confusion over here, but I have added extra steps or extra time to improve your understanding over here. I have given you more time to that our concept should be making the sinking in your system. Okay, that is why engineering brother classes are always very very special if you have any constructive suggestions regarding our channel please let us know in the comment section also we will implement that uh, in the latter part of our videos okay so stay tuned with our channel and ultimately no one is doing this type of videos i want to remind this fact once again i have taken the same problem but have considered different methods to solve the same problem and have got the same result over here and I think no one is doing this type of videos over here okay so stay tuned to the channel do spread these type of videos towards longer communities towards your engineering friends towards your relatives that will be better to connect with us over here so that's it thank you and goodbye If you like my video, so what are you waiting for? Please do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned to the channel. Thank you and goodbye.